The 3M fit test kits use a qualitative method to check that the wearer can achieve an adequate seal between a tight fitting face piece and their face. It relies on the respirator wearer's ability to detect the taste of a solution that is injected into a hood as a fine mist. The kits are suitable for testing disposable respirators and half-face reusable respirators with particular or combination filters. In addition to understanding the content of this training video, anyone conducting a fit test should meet the criteria for a competent person, detailed in the Health and Safety Executive's Information Document on Fit Testing. HSE 282-28, freely available on their website www.hse.gov.uk. The box contains a hood and collar, two nebulizers, two bottles of solution, spare nozzles and user instructions. Replacement parts are available if any damage occurs or the solution runs out. Two versions of the test kit are available. 3M FT10 uses a sweet tasting solution and the 3M FT30 uses a bitter solution. The two kits allow a choice to be made and provide an alternative if someone is unable to taste one of the test solutions. The complete test breaks down into two parts, the sensitivity test and the fit test. Firstly, unscrew the nebulizer labeled sensitivity test solution and pour in approximately one teaspoonful of the sensitivity test solution. Next, pour a similar amount of fit test solution into the second nebulizer. With both caps removed, squeeze the bulb to check the nebulizers are producing a mist. Confirm that the test subject has had nothing to eat or drink except water and has not chewed gum during 15 minutes before the test. Fit the hood without a respirator fitted and arrange the hood so that there is a gap of approximately 15 centimeters between the front of the hood and the subject's face. Ask the subject to breathe through their mouth with their tongue slightly out and to indicate when they taste the solution. Place the sensitivity test nebulizer into the hole in the front of the hood. Squeeze the bulb to inject the test solution. Allow the bulb to inflate fully between squeezes. Count and take a note of the number of squeezes it takes for the wearer to taste the solution. If the wearer tastes the solution between 1 and 10 squeezes, then 10 squeezes of the fit test solution should be used at the start of the fit test. If between 11 and 20 are required, then 20 are used, and if between 21 and 30 are required, 30 squeezes are used. If the subject has not tasted the solution after 30 squeezes, then the alternative kit should be tried. The sensitivity test is important as it verifies that the solution is suitable for that person and establishes their taste threshold. Time should be allowed for the taste to clear from the wearer's mouth before starting the fit test. Rinsing with water may speed this up. The subject should also wipe their lips to remove any residual sensitivity solution. Explain the test and the seven exercises to be performed. The exercises are designed to simulate some of the stresses the face seal experiences during the working day. After confirming the taste is cleared, ask the subject to fit their respirator and perform a fit check. They should also wear any other personal protective equipment or glasses that would be used with the respirator and might affect with its fit. Ask the test subject to tell you if they taste the mist at any time. Instruct them to breathe through their mouth with their tongue slightly out and then fit the hood as before. Using the fit test nebulizer, inject the fit test solution into the hood. Use the number of squeezes defined by the sensitivity test, i.e. 10, 20 or 30. The nebulizer must be held in an upright position to ensure correct mist generation. For the first of the seven exercises, ask the subject to breathe normally and start a stopwatch or note the time on the second hand of your watch. There is a tendency for the mist to settle out of the hood. To maintain an adequate concentration of mist during the test, inject half the number of squeezes every 30 seconds for the duration of the fit test procedure, i.e. 5, 10 or 15 squeezes. After one minute of normal breathing, ask the subject to start deep breathing, taking care not to hyperventilate, and again remember to top up the concentration every 30 seconds. After one minute of deep breathing, ask the subject to start turning their head from side to side in slow, deliberate movements, pausing slightly to inhale at each extreme. Again. 
top up the concentration every 30 seconds. After one minute of this exercise, ask the subject to switch to moving their head up and down, inhaling when the head is up. Continue to top up the concentration every 30 seconds. After one minute of moving their head up and down, and while still topping up the concentration every 30 seconds, hand the subject the passage of text in the user instructions and ask them to read it out loud. They should reread the passage for a full minute. After one minute of this exercise, ask the subject to bend at the waist, as if to touch their toes. Remember to top up the concentration every 30 seconds. Finally, Ask the subject to carry out a minute of normal breathing. Remember to top up the concentration every 30 seconds. Once the subject has performed all of these exercises without tasting the mist, they have passed the test. You could at this point ask the subject to reach up inside the hood and break the seal of the respirator, followed by taking a breath. By tasting the solution, the subject will gain an appreciation of the protection provided by the respirator. If at any point during the test they indicated that they can taste the mist, stop the test and remove the hood. After allowing time for the taste to clear from their mouth, repeat the sensitivity test. Have them refit and adjust their respirator and repeat the fit test. Two failures where you are confident there are no obvious fitting errors may indicate that the model of respirator being tested is unsuitable for that person's face shape and another size or model should be tried. After the test, a record should be created. Use the 3M record sheet available on our website or create your own. Details of the content of a record can also be found in the HSC's information document. The nebulizers should be thoroughly rinsed out after use and wiped dry. If the nebulizer becomes blocked, it can be cleaned with the pin provided or the jet can be replaced. Fit testing is an important step towards ensuring that the correct levels of protection are achieved from a respirator. It is vital that a fit tester fully understands the test procedure and carefully briefs and monitors the test subject. For further details regarding the competence expected of a fit tester, see the HSE guidance document. And for information on the accreditation scheme for fit testers, visit www.fittofit.org. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration video. For further information, please visit www.3m.co.uk forward slash safety or call our UK and Ireland helpline numbers.